Hello, it's Sarah, and I am on today. In today's video, I want to make a bow. Not really good at it yet. I really, the inspiration is I want to make a wreath. <laughs> and to have a wreath, I wanted a bow. And so I thought I'd make a bow. Anyway, I got the Celebrate It, which is a Michaels brand. I got the Bow Maker. It's called Celebrate It Bow Maker. There's a couple out on the market, but this just happened to be there when I was out because then later I did go to Hobby Lobby <coughs> to get some ribbon. And I want to just tell you where I'm at. Okay, so this is the bow maker. I made my first bow and I consider it a fail because what I thought I was going to... So when I picked the ribbon, I just picked colors that I liked. This one. I picked this and then I had this cool B one. Look. So it has bees on it, and I thought those will go nice together and make a cool bow. This one has wire and this one doesn't, and that's why I consider it kind of a fail because it doesn't look anything like I thought it would look. And I'm like I said, this was my first bow. I I consider it a fail. I tried fluff, fluffing it, and you know it just doesn't work the same with the floppy part. So I'm going to undo it, and I'm going to use this wired ribbon with this ribbon which is wired and I got to go with this I was going to do this together a double decker bow this is not wired <laughs> so I made a bow with that right here which it's decent I put five loops on each side I think and I you know and I got my little tails to go a certain way I mean there's definitely a finesse to this you know you got to get the hang of it and then I thought, well, it wouldn't I could put that in the middle because I know that you can make bows by hand because, of course, then I went on YouTube and started watching videos from like five years ago before there were bow makers or even, you know, anyway. But like that looks cute. I mean, it's not a total fail. I don't know. I could still probably even make the loops a little smaller. But let's just make a bow together. I also bought this. And this is, yay, it is wired. I'm pretty sure this is wired. Yes, I think. Wait, I have to open it. I think it is, though. And then the other thing I have... So, the whole project is inspired by this piece. This is a Tracy Moreau. It's on her... If you go to her YouTube channel, you'll be able to find this, um, the tutorial for it, and then you can just go to her website and order the packet, which I think the um, digital, the e-packet, is like $8. Um, but I made this little sign... And I'm gonna, this is what inspired it. I wanna, I'm gonna make a sunflower wreath. Anyway, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. That is what I'm thinking. All right, so this is the beginning of the wreath. I have this uh, wired ribbon. I also have to put a piece. This comes, this bow maker came with this stuff too, which is like, I guess it's floral wire, right? So I'm gonna put a piece of that between the hole, wrap it around these little end bits. And then I'm going to do the same thing. And I guess this can then act as the thing that you're going to use to secure it to the wreath. I mean, I'm a beginner, guys. So this is you and me together figuring this out. All right, so I got that. Now, I think three yards of ribbon is, an, is kind of appropriate. So I'm just going to go for it. I think I want my bow things loops to be four inches so there's a four here I need a tail so usually you can make the tail a little longer I'll make my tail like six inches okay so what you do is you twist let's see <laughs> you twist it okay good I think that's good and you stick it down in there okay so my tail is hanging out there it's upside down I go right way up and then you twist again so let's see I want these to be four inches so I'm just kind of folding it at the four go under and twist push it down so that's actually closer to five I'm gonna twist it a little closer this is a very thick ribbon I just love it though okay so that's like four and a half we'll go with that then you flip it over so that the pretty part is always at the top of your twist. And then you twist it again so that the bottom side, see that was much closer to four. 
So then you flip it around so it's on top again. I'm going to do, I think, just th three. I'll do three and three and see what that looks like. So three on each side of this ribbon. And then I'm going to use the fail ribbon. Because let's say I think I did, yeah, I did three on that side. Okay. So again, we're going to twist. And this is getting all twisty, but um, let's see. Twist it so that the bottom, so that, okay, twist and push. That looks good. And then you make it go right side up again. Twist and push. I think that's two on that side. And you flip it to the good side again. Twist and push. Okay. So this seems like I'm I'm tending towards bigger loops on my right. Okay, let's see. One more on this side. This is all getting twisted. Because if the wire wasn't attached to the spool, it would probably be just flipping on its own. Squish it down. And then one, two, three. Now, here's the other thing. I don't know how to end to leave a, to, do I leave a thing hanging up? Now look, I watched videos and I still, I'm not sure, but I'm just winging it. Okay, so I'm gonna twist and push. And then I'm gonna make this long. I'm gonna cut this over here like this one. So I'm gonna have another tail. I mean, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so that's done. Now I wanna add that second now this is going to be my tail. I'm just leaving it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to try and untwist this. I could have done this off camera, but I wanted you to um, I'll cut it. I wanted you to know, oh, and I just cut that ribbon. Jeebus. Let me see. See if it's still usable. It's right in the middle, Sarah. Come on. Look, I just cut it right there. You know what, let's just cut it off, and I'll use it, because this is a practice bow, and I can always take it apart more gently. And I already cut the little tassel things. But I think I want to make these, like, three inches. Like, I want them to be smaller, so that I, when I twist it around, they'll be big and little, big and little. So I think that's what I want to do. So I'm gonna, again, I'm going to start on this side, put my tail out. Let me see if this side has a longer... I mean, it's a little twisty. Okay, I'm just going to do it. Okay. And then push it in. Oh, twist and push it in. Because there is a top and a bottom. All right. And then I'm going to flip this around. I'm going to make it like the three inch mark, which is right there. So I'm just going to make this one a little smaller. Okay, twist it around. See, this is the rip, so it's right in the middle, which is kind of good. I didn't even plan it like that, but and then twist it around. So I'm going to do three on each side, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. So there's two. Flip it. This is the third one on this side. And this is the third one on this side. And then I'm going to use the rest as my tail. Now, that is pretty much it. Now, I have a lot going on here, but I am going to take the, unloop, unloop the loops of that. And the first one I did, very wonky, but I am actually going to tie a knot right now. I'm going to see what it says in the directions to do. Make sure... It says, with two hands, pull the wire and bow up through the clamps. Then it says, twist the wire around the center of the bow and hold the shape of the bow. Secure at the back of the bow. So I didn't like that uh, technique because I lost the center. So I'm just tying a knot and I'm going to pull it down. And then I'm going to release the bow. Because it's kind of hard to keep it all together. So, ugh. Jeepus. Oh, jeepus. All right, whatever. I'm just tightening it. I'm going to move this out of the way. This is tricky, guys. It's not like, you know, it's not as natural as you might think. All right, it's double tied. So I have all this right now. 
doesn't look too good. <laughs> so I'm going to cut this first of all. And I'm a, so this is supposed to be the front. So I basically tied the knot in the front of the bow instead of the back. But I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Um, yeah, I don't like that I did that. So let's just undo that and put this at the back. Because the, the longer part should stay at the back. Okay, whatever. All right. And then I'm just going to... This is the back, so I'm just fluffing. I'm just going to make these loopy. I've watched them do this on the videos where you just put your fingers in and kind of twist. And it looks fluffy. I like the fluffiness. Now I have, and that's kind of the back, I guess. I don't even know. I'm going to do it to this one too. Oh boy, I don't know. Isn't it funny when it's a new experience that like how lost you feel? <laughs> like I just feel lost right now. And this is what taking risk. Oh, see that kind of came loose. This pulled. What did it pull from this? I think so. Um, taking risks in the world. Now see this is the front. And I'm, I'm, I'm lost. I don't understand this. It doesn't feel right at all. It feels very wonky. I don't understand this. Because I double knotted it in the front. This doesn't look bowish. <laughs> Maybe I'm supposed to pull it toward the front, right? Like, if this is the front, pull it toward the front. Oh, that, that makes me happier, doing that specifically. I think I'm going to give it another shot because I'm not happy with this. But I think I'm starting to understand. And, like, of course, I would want my, um, what are they called? The little strands, the little thing, these, to be, like, down the bottom. So where's my other one of them? Here. So both of these should be like towards the bottom along with this. Okay, so I have all four of them in my hand. Oh, that might be a way to go so that you have some control over which way you want to do it. And then pull that up top. Forget this gold things right now because I don't even know which way they're headed. Aha, this makes more sense. It's still not looking, okay, but look, you can flatten them. Oh, and maybe, no, these are on top. Oh, but, and again, I still feel like I would want something in the middle, which looks cute. I mean, that's a usable bow. And then I would fix these. What are these called again? I just said it. Yes, it's looking usable though. I'm not hating it. I was a minute ago until I pulled these little ends. And this is what you do to the ends to make them look cute. You fold this in half and you cut toward the edge. So like that and then you get that little, if that's what you like, because you could just cut it at a diagonal too. Um, or however you want to do it, but I like this. So, okay. I might put this aside and then continue on in the video to show you what other things I'm thinking. But see, this seems usable. I like this. I have this green one. Wow, look at, wow, that's a lot happening. <laughs> I don't know. That might be too much, but I'm going to set this aside. Yay! I feel a little bit successful. Uh, what was the other thing I was going to try? Nope, those are my only two wires. I have this one. Okay, so let me move this aside. I also got a new glue gun because I, I have a glue gun, but it's so old, and I wanted to get a new glue gun. So I got this one. This was at Hobby Lobby last night. 
and I don't think there is any real way to open this package. I hate this plastic packaging, so I'm just going to cut it, I guess, along the bottom with my Tim Holtz scissors because they go through everything. See if I can get this out of here. It's called Sure Bonder, and it may be Hobby Lobby's own brand. It was $15. So I thought that was pretty good. And it's cold and hot. Like you can do it, it says dual heat, dual temp. Um, so I've never had that before either. So, you know, things have changed since I got my first glue gun. So I just figured I'd get the more modern version. I guess this is the stand. Can't really get it out. I could have done this off camera. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go off camera and get this set up and pull in something else I want to share with you. Okay, I got it all plugged in. It has this stand that you just click in there. And I have it on H, which it didn't say about that yet. But um, I'm guessing the L, because it's just L, high and low. Hot because it's dual temp, but it says it recommends using the hot thing for what I'm going to be doing. Low is for like uh, foil, lace, um, let's see, floral foam, magnetic, uh, lightweight fabric. Anyway, so I'm thinking I'm, I'm okay. Um, and plugging it in is what turns it on. So it's, it's heating up. I wanted to just share, it says on here, um, Shuts the glue off, gun off automatically in the event of a short. Oh, okay. It allows the glue the glue gun to lay safely on its side. It has side fins. Oh, these. Oh, okay. It keeps the tip from touching. Okay, cool. Um, anywho, it is good to um to read the instructions. I have learned that in my later days. I'm starting to pause in the moment and do that stuff. It's important. Okay, so I bought some flowers and stuff, but let me show you the wreath. So this is the first thought I had. I've had this ribbon in my stash forever, and I just love it, and I wanted to use it. Now, that being said, it's wired, so I could try making a bow with it, which I love, and because it's going on my front porch, I should have showed you... Um, I could do a little filming at the end of my front porch. We got new cushions, so it's fully inspired me. We've had the old cushions for so long, and they were ripping. Anywho, got them on Amazon. We have wicker furniture, uh, deck furniture. Anyway, so I don't know. There's nothing really yellow out there. There is some green, but it's more of like that, more of um, like a rainforest green. I can, anyway, don't worry about it. I just like this idea. It doesn't need it. But the other idea I thought was this other ribbon that I just got is a similar vibe. It's got the little bit of white in it and it's smaller so it's not as obvious. I could use this. Let me see if this is wired. Oh, it is wired. It is wired. That makes me happy because I think it's wired. Yeah, it's not like a strong wire. Okay, but I could totally make a ribbon with this. So I really love the um, the sunflower ribbon. Love it. But I just don't know if it's going to be too much because that's the designer in me thinking like, you know how I always say in my videos, I like to audition things. So the other idea I had was the B ribbon, which I'm not going to be using because it is not wired. I love this. It's just really big. Okay, so then I have, I'm just going to start as I'm talking with you and chatting. This was from, where was this from? Michael's, I believe, and they were half price. So I think this was five bucks. I got two big sunflowers, like all different kinds of other flowers, because I do have a, I like a pop of color, you guys. I like pink. Then I did get an all sunflower one. So that was five bucks and then I got a white because I just always like to throw white in and see the lace like that's what I had in mind so and this is just greenery or whatever like I might you know I might not even use it so that's all the flowers I have I didn't get extra leaves or anything 
but I'm going to use anything that's on the floral stems. Like, see these? I'll just cut these off and stick them in wherever I think it needs it. But it's, it's mine. I'm not selling it. It's fine. And, and this is fun for me. It's, when I feel lost, it's not as fun. <laughs> but mainly it is fun. And it is part of the journey to, to, like I said, audition things. But see, I could wrap just because it is based on this piece with the bees. So see, I have the bees and the sunflower. And I was even thinking I had this from in my stash. This little piece was on an angel that I had forever. I think I bought it years ago at a, at a craft fair. And when I took her apart, because she just got old and like, anyway, I saved this. And I've just had it on a little shelf because I love it. But I thought I could stick this in the wreath too, you know? And I mean, this would even just look cute like this. And I can't put my camera up any higher. You know, like just having this, I, I have to include it. So this is, kind, these are kind of my inspiration. The sunflowers came second, and then the, the you know, the rest of it is kind of as I go. <clears throat> but I would like to use these two in there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move this away. And I'm just going to start to um, separate some flowers. So I'm going to take the big sunflowers first. I already took off one big one. And they're, they're kind of cheesy. They're not like real. Oh, the, it, this green part was down low. So they're separate. I just pushed it up. Because I do like the greenery, the green to show. But who knows? I don't know. I'm kind of cutting it with a little bit of like about three inches, I would say, of stem left. Because again, I haven't made a wreath in forever, and I don't know. I think I want to use that to kind of nestle it into the, uh, I think it's called a grapevine wreath. So I'm just going to kind of cut, ooh, see in that, I lost the, I didn't include this, the little the greenery. But I can just push it back in. So, and you know what? I didn't even go to the dollar store. I should have just went to the dollar store. They have so much stuff now, you guys. Like, they even have, like, I watched a video where someone just literally made a ribbon wreath. It was so cool. So I have two big sunflowers, three big sunflowers. And this looks like it has a totally different greenery. Like, look, those leaves are totally different. Let me cut the about two to three inches of wire and I'm just using my I'm killing it but I should have gotten another tool this is like a, a shank remover or something I don't even know but I'll end up replacing my tools don't worry I'm very brutal but yeah this has a, a totally different leaf that's not the same at all you know and it doesn't bother me I guess that's what's left on the rest of them I definitely, I love this. This little pink one is so beautiful. I love them all. Like, I'll probably end up putting a lot of pink. <laughs> but look, they're little, like, pink daisies. And I don't know what all this stuff is, but I think it's removable. Yeah, like, all of that is removable. But I, I mean, I like it. I mean, it's so cute because of the yellow centers. Okay. And then I definitely would use a few of these smaller ones to fill in. And I, wa I watched the videos that are out there. They're like from um, people who do this for a living. Like, you know, they make floral arrangements for like a, a flower shop or something. Like they're really good at it. So um, I'm just going to cut these, a couple of these off. And they don't have their um, leaves necessarily, but I think I'm going to use the leaves separately too. But you, they start in the middle. Like a lot of them put their bow in the middle of the bottom, say. And then they make their spray go up to the sides. And then I could put the sign at the top. So I'm going to have to figure out how I want to design it. But I'm just playing around and letting you guys know that um, my process is to just get all my 
get all my stuff. This is what I do all the time. I'm going to move my bow maker too because it's just kind of in the way. My desk gets full of all the supplies and it becomes, and I did pull some twine, or this is hemp. But just in case I need to tie things to the wreath, I think I'm going to just try the glue gun and hopefully it'll hold. I'm not a real glue gun fan. I think they're super messy and they haven't always held the best for me, but I think for this it's going to be just fine. So I'm going to I'm just going to cut these two leaves off for for cutting sake and just see because see I can put these anywhere if I need a little greenery and it's not the same color. Anywho, I'm going to get a couple white. This is so cool because on here, this one, it's a very similar, like, see this, like, frosty looking white thing? I don't even know what it is. But they're all separate. Like, I love this peach one, too. I'm definitely going to need a couple of these peach ones. I love them. I mean, oh, man. I love them. It just makes me happy. And... I mean, this is definitely cool. I think it all comes off, but I'm going to cut it. I'll cut it. So I still have these, like, peonies. I don't know. I'll use them for something else. And there's lots of leaves that I can still cut apart. I like these darker leaves. For some reason, these were, they're different. They're just all, all right. So I have this white stuff, too. These all, look. They're separate. So I can just take these and nestle them in for a little pop of extra. And I love extra. I do. I've always loved extra. And that's a good thing. You have to know when enough is enough. But right now, I'm having fun. So I'm going to just set. Let's see. I'll get a couple more small ones. Because, I mean, it is a sunflower-themed um project. I don't have any sunflowers on my porch. I don't even have any sunflowers in my yard. So I think I may go get some sunflowers this weekend because I I don't think I've ever grown sunflowers. I'm not a gardener, you guys. I don't like it. It's hot out there. My back hurts and I do I do some, but it's really kind of more container gardening and stuff like that. Like I just make it look cute. But all right. Look how gorge this color combo. I went orange with my nails this time too. I never go orange. So pretty. All right. So I have white sunflowers. And pinks. Well, peonies or whatever this is. So pretty and pink. There was only those two little pops of pink. That's all I had. All right. And then a couple greenery. So I'm going to get the wreath. And I'm going to take this, uh, I think I'm going to take this off. But you know what? Let's audition it. Let's just audition it. I haven't fully decided. You guys can't really see. That's what stinks. I need my camera to go up higher. But what if I put the sign at the top, the bow at the bottom, and the flowers going up. I think I like that. I could also do it, the bow at the top, and that way all this will hang in the middle, the flowers coming down, and the sign at the bottom. I have to stand up, and I know this isn't helpful to you guys, so just say we start, and I'm just going to randomly put these on, and I'm just wondering if I need to have this ribbon. I don't think I want it. As I'm looking at it, I know you can't see, but I don't think I want it. It's too much. I think a ribbon could be pretty, but in this case, I'm going to just, no, I'm not going to do it. But man, look at that. I don't even have anything on here and it already looks cute by just putting two big sunflowers. And that maybe this is too much. Maybe they're too big, and just doing the smaller ones would be nice. But I'm, I'm almost liking this three 
like I have to maybe tie this onto here. It's so cool. I'm, I'm excited. It's finally, I was a little lost there for a minute, but let me just take this off. And you know what's cool? I might want to just make a bow with this. And put it just put it out there somewhere on a basket or something because I'm, I'm enjoying decorating the porch so getting the new cushions always inspires me like it, it's a new color thing it's a new um, so they didn't have ottoman cushions so I still have ottomans out there with the same cushion the old cushion but I just flipped it over all right so this is just a naked wreath man I wish I could make this go up a little higher but I really can't can't I can't all right so we'll just do a, a piece at a time um, this is I think a 12 inch it could be a 16 inch let me see I think it was like six bucks it's it says 15 it's probably a 14 I think it's a 14 inch wreath because I knew my sign was small so I didn't want to go too big <coughs> I have to decide if I want ribbon I could put this smaller ribbon. I could put the B ribbon, which I put somewhere. And I will be back with the ribbon on or not when I make that decision. And I can't find that other piece. Oh, here it is. This B ribbon, which could be cute to just tie in the bees. Um, and it's not wired, so it's nice because I won't be wasting it when I could make it to make a nice bow. But this way I have little bees going all around it. I was looking for prop bees, like this type of bee or something, or actual little fluffy bees that were on a, on a wire already, like you would put in a arrangement. Now, like... It just, I just don't need it. Although they will pop out from behind. No, I don't need it. All right. Decision made. I think it's going to be cute without it. Um, I should probably attach a piece of wire to the back to hang it with. And I'm just going to use one of those 3M hooks on my, I have a glass front door. I'll show you when it's all said and done. I'm just going to stick it to the glass and hang it from that. So I'll probably put just a wire, like not this wire, because this is pretty, but I have floral wire that I will get out and I'll just like kind of make a circle. I don't know. And I'm going to put it on the back to hang it. All right. So let me find the top and the bottom. Now, do I want my ribbon at the top? See, that totally is a different look. This is really cute. I'm happy with it, but I'm not sure I love the, but I might make it one more time and get it really looking good. But it's really cute. Like, look at that. That's adorable. And with the green, it even looks cute, too. Maybe I could do this a little smaller because it kind of covers that. So I did four inches, three inches. I could do a two-inch green one and put it there, you know. Or even do this in the middle. I don't know. I still want to use that, but, man, it's difficult. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is just make this and then um, come back and show you the finished product because I am not set up to do a tutorial or any type of share. Um, see, and I don't know, I might just glue this onto here. Just kind of stick it in there like that. Um, so that's it, you guys. Um, I love you. Thank you for watching and have a great day.